flying over water with a drone can be pretty spectacular and fun, but it is a situation that requires preparation and attention. In this video I will show you all you need to know for minimizing the risks when flying over water with a Mini 3 Pro, although most of the tips apply to all the current models of the DJI prosumer line. A crucial thing to know is that drones are not waterproof. They are able to stand a few drops of rain, but they get very quickly damaged or destroyed by water. Even worse in the case of spray from salty waves. So, when flying over the sea in windy conditions, be aware of the waves and maintain the aircraft at a higher elevation. The same applies when flying over waterfalls. A major unexpected issue is due to the fact that the downward sensors do not work properly over water, as they struggle to analyze reflective surfaces. They get fooled by the changes in luminosity, so the elevation of the aircraft shown on screen is often misleading when flying at low altitudes. Under these circumstances, you should not rely on the downward sensors to protect from entering the water. Even when simply advancing straight ahead, the drone may raise or descend slightly as it wrongly detects an obstacle at a close distance below. The higher the aircraft flies, the more accurate the reading of the altitude by the downward sensors. As the water is seen more as a solid surface rather than a reflective one. I would suggest to inexperienced users to remain at an altitude of at least 30 meters or 100 feet when flying over water for the first times, especially in case of waves. Instead of immediately flying out over the water, it is better to let the drone hover near the takeoff point until the home point is updated so that the aircraft can return to the correct position in case of signal loss. It is also a useful test to make sure the aircraft is behaving correctly before flying out. Before flying it is also a good idea to check the return to home settings. In the safety settings of the DJI Fly App, by going to Advanced Safety Settings, we can select the behavior of the aircraft in case of signal loss, with the options Return to Home, Descend and Over. The option Descend must absolutely be avoided, as we obviously don't want to land in the water. Over is a suitable option. In this case, the drone will remain static and we can bring it home manually. But in most cases, the most suitable option is return to home, as the aircraft will immediately move towards the home point, thus saving precious battery life. In the safety settings, it is possible to specify the return to home altitude. In case of loss of signal, the aircraft will ascend to this altitude before making its way to the home point and then will descend for landing. While flying over water, in most cases the route will be clear of obstacles, like tall trees and buildings, so we can set a low value of around 30 meters, thus saving battery life. If the operator is moving, for example on a boat, it is suggested to regularly update the home point. Many beginners believe that the home point is always where the controller is, but it is not always the case. The home point is set where the satellites connect after takeoff, in general close to the starting point. But if the operator is moving, the home point will remain in that position, which can be very far at the moment of the return to home. It is always possible to check the position of the home point on the map. It will be shown by a yellow circle around an H. 
while the position the remote controller is shown with a blue dot and the aircraft by a triangular shape. It is possible to modify the position of the on point at any time in the tab Safety of the settings by selecting the option Update on point. A map appears on the screen with the position of the home point relative to the aircraft and to the controller. It is then possible to drag the yellow circle on the map to move the home point manually or else it can be automatically updated to the position of the aircraft or the position of the controller by tapping on the two icons on the right. Taking off from a moving boat is a very advanced operation to be done only by very experienced users. It is, it is crucial to be able to take off and land from a hand. Always check the weather conditions before flying over the water, especially the wind conditions. The Mini 3 Pro is relatively powerful for its size, but it is a lightweight model with limited wind resistance. Windy conditions over water are even more dangerous because of the possibility of spraying from big waves. In case of medium to strong winds, it is suggested to start flying into the wind whenever possible. If we should notice that the aircraft struggle to advance, it will be easy to land it safely. While if the drone starts off flying with the wind behind, it will quickly get very far away and it might be impossible to bring it back into the wind. If the wind is too strong coming back, lower the altitude to about 20 to 25 meters, as the wind is less powerful at a low altitude. And set the speed mode to sport for more power. If the drone still cannot make it, try to come back at a slight angle compared to the wind, making occasional turns. Always check the battery level before taking off and make sure to have enough battery life, especially if you plan to fly relatively far out over water. I suggest keeping some sort of line of sight with the aircraft at a distance of no more than 300 meters. Start bringing the bird home with at least 30% of battery remaining to avoid too much stress. Click on this link to watch my video about the return to home functionality. And don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video interesting. Thank you.